know what? I'm going to go back to the start and I'll run the timer. So obviously, being on PAL is going to warp these statistics, but... Yeah, I'm aware of that. That's what I was trying to just go ahead and explain now. Wow, yeah, this is slow. <laughs> I mean, bottom line is, I'm not really, it's not really going to be anywhere close anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and because this is before or around the same time as the first TASs that completely broke the game came out, uh, this is almost entirely glitchless. Uh, so what they got? 57. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that, but... <laughs> the, um, the time bonus starts a lot later compared to the music, because the music is going at the same time. happened there? That was an interesting one. But even back then we knew that you could bounce off a certain part of the ground there. <laughs> this is before the lightning shield strategy though. might have got the fire shield, yep. I have always liked that strategy, getting the fire shield like that, and then dash, jump, dash again. Ha! <laughs> I timed fire shield dashes to the music, that's cute. I don't know whether it's the fire dashes playing havoc with the music or if the music was just that bad. <laughs> uh, Revo, I haven't done the Sonic 2 progression, so don't worry, you haven't missed that yet. You can tell, you can tell actually that uh, we were using in-game time at the time because there's just little things like that that I was just showing off for the hell of it. I 
no, you say that, but like you'd think that playing on PAL would be much easier, but I would I would find it very difficult to go back to it now and try and play at the same level. Even though in theory it should be much easier. It would actually be particularly difficult um, given that the music plays at the same speed. It would actually be easier to go back to Sonic 1 in that respect. Two hits up there. I mean, bad, I mean, a bad boss here can happen to anyone. That can happen at any time. I actually died there not half an hour ago, so... <laughs> no judgement there. Of, of course, the first three levels are... largely unchanged. The thing that changed... the thing that's changed the most, actually, is, um, getting the Lightning Shield in Act 2 of Angel Island. But here again, this is no glitches, so... This is actually the closest thing to compare the uh, the current glitchless runs I do to. And it's a mark of... Um, how competent this run is. That my current glitchless run is like 48.15, this is a 49.37 by game time. Uh, that though, I don't do in my glitchless runs, even though it's like 20 to 30 seconds faster, because it's clipping through an object. Uh, oh, actually, that'll mean there's another one coming up at the end here too. Yeah, Baron, we made that change around... Oh, see, that, that was so slow up that ramp, I would have never thought that I would get up there. Yeah, so jump through that. So this stage is actually a lot faster in this iteration of the route than it would be in Glitchless. Um, around September, I think. <laughs> Can tell things have changed there with that strategy. Now there's actually a spot you can stand. <laughs> Oh yeah, I only have one Marble Garden split. <laughs> okay, I guess I wait till the end of Act 2 then. Oh goodness, this sounds so wrong. to remember, Super Boom fan, this was 2006. I didn't know any better. Oh, 
Oh. What a relief. Oh, it's back. So I won't bother doing a split, oh actually, what I could have done, I could do this, and then, once it's done, go back a split. Uh, Baron Haynes, this is absolutely not normal Genesis Audio, this is... Uh, from the Mega Collection port, which absolutely botches a lot of the sound. Like, I mean, I know a lot of Genesis sound is pretty bad, but I'm not going to stand for it as, um, as regards this game. I actually had to wait for that. Wasn't quite as good at my Spin Nash releases back then. So I can see I can see some little minor things that aren't quite the same. Like that should have been a three tap spin dash, for example, not a one. I should have waited till getting to the end there to, to jump. I wonder if I lost the lightning shield on purpose. I could have. I need to get the fire shield? Maybe, I don't know. Um, Sephira, the first stage that had a level rat was actually this one, Marble Garden 2. That, I think, can be traced back about this far, but um, couldn't be done with Sonic, and was uh, definitely not allowed under the rules at the time. Well, the, the vertical wraps, are, are we talking about the, the screen wrapping in Marble Garden 1 and stuff? That goes back to Sprint, uh, which is a good deal earlier than this. I think he published his TAS in 2005. And so he was the one that explained to all of us how, um, why the screen wrap only worked in the few stages that it does. Honestly, Pineapple, now you mention it, I really wish I had that in this playlist. Um, actually, shall it be? Yes. Yeah, I don't think anyone thought to apply it to Sonic 2 until much later. I don't think it was till we had a good map for Metropolis that 
we kind of went, hey, maybe this could be useful somewhere. So I was trying to do exactly the same strategy as you do now, but I botched it. I think the most interesting thing about this run so far has been that so little has changed. Like a 53, that's a, that's a competent time. It's actually faster than I get in Carnival Night 1 now, but that's for reasons. Yeah, the, the broad strokes are the same. Like I say, there are some little things that are different. Now, I must admit though, the fact that these are largely the same I, I'm wondering now how much of that is due to the fact that, again, these videos are all mine. How much more might have changed if we had other people playing too? So like now, for example, I would actually lose the, the water shield there, rather than here, where we used to at the time. Shit, that's actually faster than what I do now. I need to go back to doing that, jumping back to the right. I've been jumping to the left for consistency. I hadn't learned the quickest way to save this, apparently. Yeah, Pineapple, there's a 49 minute one and a 45 minute one. The 45 minute one is the one everyone remembers. Uh, Safira, my parents figured it out before I did. <laughs> I was... I was... very sad. Two fifty. Good deal slower.
There's actually a lot missing from this track. Oh no, there it is. The base is back in it now. Seemed like there wasn't any at the start though. So like, there's another minor thing that's different, where I now insta-shield through that enemy, rather than running all the way up to the block. Even that's the same! Oh, we did have this one though, okay. Again, this is after Sprint's TAS, so... That kind of stuff was well known. But yeah, the broad strokes are very much the same. There's um, there's one thing in Launch Base 1 that I'm sure I don't do, because I've only started doing it very recently. Because I always found it too difficult. Even like using the slope there to get a little bit of extra. Wonder if I go over the top of this. Hmm. Wonder why I would have used that second ledge. Ah, uh, no, I didn't go over the top of the screen there. Interesting. Because that really puts you at the mercy of that ramp there. If it decides it doesn't want to let you up, then you have to take the bottom path, which is a great deal slower. Why would I slow down there? <laughs> I had kind of a variant of what you do now. I just use the lightning shield for a bounce. That was an interesting start to this stage. In fairness, John, four minutes of that is... how?
Uh oh. I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? Oh no! Okay. There's another one to put in the memory bank. Yeah, here, here's one that is actually a little bit different. Now you go out to the left and attach straight to that grey cylinder. That saves a couple of seconds. I should be hitting that box from underneath as well rather than from the side. Good save. Oops. Yeah, I remember this was one of my bigger mistakes because I didn't actually know what this bottom area even looked like. wasn't really, that whole escapade cost me about 10 seconds. No, Sephira, that's exactly what I meant. I do need to remember that for later. I thought I had to kill the enemy to avoid getting hit, but apparently not. Oh, oh. missed the split. Oh well. It's not like accuracy matters at this point. <laughs> I don't know if I'm hearing things or if it's just the um, just the video being sketchy. Got through there without taking a hit. Nice. Uh, so this, uh, this is a bit different now. Uh, in runs now, you would go and get the water shield there, and that lets you skip this section that's about to come up. It's also uh, common for Sonic to get the invincibility now, uh, mainly because of this flybot that's coming up here, but if you kill him straight away like that, it really doesn't matter. Watched a couple of hits there.
truthfully, Pineapple, it, it hasn't changed in all that time. What is this sound? <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is a bit different. Um, so we go back to the old spin dash strategy where you get six hits and then you get hit yourself. But I was taking hits even then. Sicarius? Oh wow, I actually went up and got the rings there. You can actually jump off that, um... You can actually jump off those bars. a lot of me not using the insta shield as much as I should. Maybe that's the one thing that I would change here. And I think that's and I think that may not even be intentional. I think possibly some of my insta shields weren't coming out because what I do now in order to make sure that I actually use the that when I try to do an insta shield it always comes out is that I make sure that I do my jump and my shield with the same button. I don't think I always did that. <laughs> I'm very interested to see what my route through this stage looks like. You can see I haven't got the lightning shield. Uh, what? Why didn't the music come on there? I didn't break the box! That's an odd one. Ooh! Ouch! I could see what I was trying to do. Um, I don't think I meant to go this way though. This is not where Sonic should be. Yeah, and again, you can tell I'm, I'm fumbling around because this is not where I planned on being. Yeah, this is one of my usual checkpoints as I hit that enemy there. Uh, currently, in a current run, that would be 32. So, I was about 20 seconds behind. So this is... Oh wow, I was doing that back then! 
Nice. That's that's something you should do if you don't have a shield. Because that lets you get straight to the one on the left. I didn't think I would have known about that platform. That top area. Or how to get into it, at least. Out 138. Yeah, some of the some of the noises in this are not pleasant. That's to do with Mega Collection more than it is the run itself. Even on the version which botches the sound though, this music is too good. <laughs> I had to handle that in a kind of strange way because of where the, the, plat the orange platform was. So I didn't know when that platform was going to come down. I thought it was closer than that, so I thought I was safer waiting it out. Of course, now I know the cycles better. Whenever you see that, that's unfortunate because you're like, oh, I'm waiting a while now. Um, didn't think to spin dash to push those, even though the doors in Sandopolis work exactly the same. That was potluck. <laughs> Uh, no, it pushes it at the same rate. This is a 207. I wish I could get a 207 nowadays. <laughs> I don't think I've got it to it. I don't think I've got the time that good and glitchless for years. I was even doing that back then too. You have to, in order to make that cycle, you have to do what I did there, which is jump into the door as it moves up out of your way, and then roll. I 
wonder if that's fast. Hanging onto the lightning shield so you can jump into the ceiling. Maybe get a bit more momentum going downwards. Should be down? Yeah. I, I just wasn't confident on these cycles at all. <laughs> I was expecting to get knocked to the right there. I think because I was facing left. And I didn't quite know how the uh, the spikes worked. I mean, for as botched as the music is, it's still the best music. I think at this point I was just quite amused by the fact that you can see the um, that little gap where the the sky is. See, every time I get over to this side, I do a spin out just so you can see that little piece of cloud. I wonder what route I take here. Okay, so we're the same so far. Not gonna go for that so uh, that's a cycle behind where I normally am too. And I didn't make that one. <laughs> oh wow, you go way back then.
Oh, I missed that jump. <laughs> That's better. Oh, okay, so the route is the same. Uh, Baron, essentially, the fact that it's half a game. I'm sure the I'm sure the argument was similar to, um, you know, you wouldn't have a demo on the site. Ooh, that was close. That was a bold move, especially as I just jumped over the checkpoint. <laughs> uh, this is... This is not at all an insulting question, but... Baron, have you actually played Sonic 3 solo? <laughs> like, if you had, then I think it would make a lot more sense. It is a, it's a published game, yes, but not a complete one in any sense. I didn't move over to the right, so I'm going to land on the ten ring box. I wasn't doing screen wraps here, but I was an ice cap. That's... that's curious. No floor clip, that's not as surprising. Yeah, I'm, I'm... this is interesting for different reasons to the Sonic 1 one. This is... I'm finding it really interesting just how similar this run is. To what you'd see in glitchless runs now. Whereas in, um, in Sonic 1 you had genuine root changes coming around all the time. Yeah, like I said, the screen wrap dates back to um, Sprint's uh, second TS, I think. I don't think the first one had screen wraps.
but yeah, in the context of speedrunning more generally, yeah, definitely an older technique. There aren't really all that many games that can claim this much speedrunning length, if not, if not, say, if not the breadth as far as the amount of people that played it over that time. A 304? That's a that's a very good Sanopolis 2 even now without glitches. The amount of times I've said that tells me that I'm doing things largely the same. That though, that is different. Oh, two straight jumps in a row. This is me not wanting to lose that shield. Unsure of why, considering I'm just about to trade it for the fire. Silly, I just did the fire dash too quick. That one was a bit strange, and I I absolutely should have died there. There's there's no doubt about that. But yeah, having lost the fire shield made this a pain in the ass. I feel like I'm moving so slow along the ground that I can actually see where the um, where the ground moves up and down. Also, interesting that I elected to bring up the ten ring box and not the fire shield. I can only assume this is because I didn't know about the fire shield at the time. Uh, no, tell me, or I do it exactly the same. I, um, I count the the hand bobbing up and down. Uh, 
uh, the melody of this is out of tune with the with the bass. Like that that that's right, isn't it? I'm not going crazy. I wonder if the sound is was actually recorded in mono. That would um that would explain a lot of things. Uh tell Neo you had the option. However, I couldn't record 60 hertz at the time. So in fact, because I had a little bit of experience with playing on emulator, um, I did have to go back to 50 hertz to, to record these. Ah, yes, I thought that might be the case. Not one of the best things about watching runs of this game is is looking at the background and looking at all the things that you can't actually notice when you're playing. Like, for the longest time I never actually recognized that the Death Egg was in the background of that section. And then, and then, like, you have the little touches as well, where with Knuckles, because that story happens later, they, they change it so that it's not no longer there. Aw, oh, tell me, how do you do that? How do you say exactly what I'm going to say? Kirby, thanks for the host. That, that method of handling um, the springs in Hidden Palace at the start is theoretically faster. 
but only if you get your spin dashes absolutely like perfect. Because otherwise you're better off just using the speed from the the red springs. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Even this was pretty much the same. Well, I botched one there. That's that actually there is one thing that I always like pointing out to to people with this game. Just a little attention to detail thing that if you leave Sonic there, you don't touch his input at all. Just as Knuckles breaks the door, Sonic kind of does that thing where he's pointing out in front. In the direction of the door. It's pretty neat. Notice I got um, stuck there with waiting for the vine for several seconds. That's because I didn't know it was a camera timer object and that it was affected by things. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the this is the one where I hilariously fail this multiple times. Just because I'm not patient enough. That's three. Four. It was four times, holy shit. Yeah, I just wasn't waiting long enough to do that jump. My god, this sounds terrible. How did I put up with this? I also wasn't taking damage here on this fight. <laughs> I actually committed to expecting that was going to be another slide, and then it wasn't. I guessed wrong all three times. Ah, uh, yeah, Crown, this is... This is a very old run of mine, in fact, from 2006. Um, huh. So this run did have a few things we would consider glitches in it. That probably saving the most time out of all of them. Yeah, so I only, so I only have three runs for this. Um, huh? 
wonder if that's faster than using the red spring. So, um, as I was saying to start off with, um, unfortunately I don't have a lot of uh, intermediate runs of this. Uh, for one, there weren't a lot of intermediate runs of this. Like, I got, I got this in 2006 and then as the trick started being found, it became apparent that the Sonic run was going to be ridiculously difficult. And... I think around 2011 was the first time anyone started doing runs of it again, and that was um, uh, either Timps or Tiberius. I, I think that I think the Timps's run would have been 2013, so I think Tiberius was before that. Ah, oh, only got six. So, back in these days, this was just a matter of brute force. Actually, it still wasn't a bad time at all. I don't know how that's come to pass. Oh no, I know why. Because I split. I forgot to split the hidden palace. So if it asks me to save that, I just won't save it. Ah, uh, so there's one thing I didn't know about as well, was dashing in there to reset these platforms. Yeah, I don't know why the old ones wobbled like this. I think it was a case of, um, actually I remember Nate explaining this because he was the video wizard back in the day. I remember he explaining that Mega Collection in particular had some interesting um, feature that he'd never seen before so that when he encoded it created this bob effect. It looks like the score itself actually moves relative to the screen. It's quite bizarre, actually. <laughs> I sat there for about a second waiting for it to fire, because I thought, if I release now, it's going to fire the spike and I'm screwed. Wow, I even skipped the spring back in 2006. As, as I mentioned at the start as well, this run also has the Doomsday Zone in it because of um, how I set up the file to start it off. Uh, so if you guys want to see that, I'll play that out too. It's obviously not necessary because the other runs don't have it.
I was just thinking, did I know about the spin dashes here? Apparently I did, yes. Yet, yeah, Sephira, technically this save file had unlocked Supersonic, but then by entering the... then by entering the Hidden Palace to do a Super Emerald stage, uh, it deleted, or... removes removes your ability to, um... It removes your ability to transform until you get all of the Super Emeralds. Or, until you play the Doomsday Zone. <laughs> No, you don't, Kirby, because games didn't have verification threads until 2009. <laughs> wow, that was not my best idea. Yeah, it was, we didn't actually time Doomsday, it was just there. Because essentially the run was more a demonstration than anything else. And that's how all speedruns that went up on SDA were treated at the time. Man, this fight though. <laughs> so that was that was the end of the run for timing purposes, but it still had the Doomsday Zone in it. Um, if you haven't noticed as well, this stage is really hard to control. I even now I find it quite hard to control, but not, not this bad. A uh, combo blaze, I'll do it sometime this week. Nah, honestly, I think it was kind of expected. <laughs> that, that's valid, Otaku. I wish I had thought of that now. What was my demonstration doomsday time? A 1.53. So, not great, but acceptable. Okay, um, so that's the first one down. 
Now, like I said, I haven't got a lot between here and about 2012. I think the run I'm about to show you now is from, oops, is from 2013. I'm not entirely sure though. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put 2013 because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so this is the second run in the set, and finally we're in the proper speed again. Actually, I might just take black bars off the sides. Oh, and I forgot to hang on. <laughs> Actually, started the timer this time. Uh, so, in between, uh, like I said, it probably took until about 2011 for people to start to do runs again, and both. Timps and Tiberius got runs around the 38 minute mark uh, for game time. Um, this was this was me going, okay, at this point I have Tails and Knuckles runs which are both under half an hour. Um, Sonic being at, you know, 40, 45 minutes, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So let's at least put some good faith effort into learning some of the tricks. Uh, now I genuinely can't remember what tricks are in this run. Um, obviously the first three levels are going to be exactly the same though. So there, I actually used to bounce down through the floor, that breakable floor. Um, you don't do that anymore because you don't get your control back as quickly. And there's our lightning shield. Oh, <laughs> but I missed, I didn't quite bounce high enough. This is not a good. That's about 137. That's not a very good act to at all. So I wasn't doing the spin dash here yet.
Yeah, Kirby, you missed. You missed the record. Literally my first run back at attempt. Again, it's, it'll be um, interesting in the levels that stay glitchless that you'll see uh, that things really won't change much at all. Yet, John, for me, that's normally not the case. Uh, specifically for this game because of uh, spin dashes and having to kind of warm up on them. There is a point after about two, three hours into a stream where I start losing my capability to do them really well. Oh, okay, so that one had a fail there. Oh, there are two fails there. Uh, Dynasty, it would only be a separate category having Tails tag along if uh, there was direct control of Tails. So if you're so if you're Sonic and you've got a computer Tails behind you and you never or you don't even have a controller plugged in, um, then that's not considered a separate category because it's still one player playing. Even if it was one player using both controllers, then it would be a two player run because you're actually controlling both characters. And, oh, I missed that split. Um, and in this case, it makes a particularly big difference because uh, if you're just playing as Sonic, then you can't make Tails fly and pick you up. Okay, we're not getting the Lightning Shield, so I'm assuming the Marble Garden skip is a thing too. You'd actually, now, you'd be surprised how little a difference it makes. Most of the things you would need Tails for, you can trick him into doing anyway. Which is pretty, pretty neat. Yeah, okay, so we do have this one. So other, most other people actually do this slightly differently than me. Um, I don't trust myself to get three spin dashes in in one invulnerability period, so I actually get um, do spin dashes seven and eight quite slowly. Wait for the sound of a second hit, and then release into the ninth spin dash, which is the one that dodges the drill. So, um, with the capsule there, I was also uh, making sure that I saw the silhouette before I jumped. Obviously, if you were here when I did the Sonic and Tails run.
uh, then you'd know that you do it differently now. Oh, this Carnivalite one's a skip. Uh, this Carnivalite skips a thing too. Oh, first go on that, that's good. Uh, Joe Neutrino, that is Sonic's boss, but in an entirely different spot to where it's meant to be. Oh, so I only did it for Act 1, I didn't bother doing it for Act 2. That's interesting actually, because it hardly saves enough time to be worth... to be worth it. Oh, especially if you botch the boss like that. <laughs> yeah, and that's a goal because, um, well, A, because my last split was late, and B, because I didn't do the, um, didn't maintain the glitch into Act 2. So this Act 2 is going to be a lot slower, um, because it's going to be essentially glitchless. Um, and my current splits obviously don't have that because they all maintain it. So let's see if I get the War Shield strats. Oh, I do! Okay, that's pretty cool. Again, though, still uh, losing the shield here. Yeah, see, now I go out to the left. That would be a couple of frames slower. I actually tried to get off the barrel then and failed. So again, the major point of interest in this run, in the in the levels that I'm not completely breaking. Um, is actually how similar the runs are, and not how different they are. And yeah, see, a minute behind. on that stage alone. Uh, Kirby, I didn't go for the Act 2. Carrying the glitch into Act 2. So... Act 1 ends up being much faster, because you still do the wheel glitch, but then you don't do the fight in the really slow way. Ooh, 
that was lucky. <laughs> I was very close to that bridge. Uh, pilot, yeah, it's a time when to hold right. You only have uh, three frames to start pressing right. Oh, that sucks. Uh, so now I've actually got to be really careful because I uh, see Robotnik's over on the left. So I've actually got to wait here before I hit it. Because otherwise, if you actually hit the capsule too quickly in that situation, um, the bonuses won't load properly and then you'll softlock. And I forgot. I forgot to split again. Anyone catch what my time was? One twenty six, all right. So I'll wait for it to, yeah. Standard 47, that hasn't changed in a long time. <laughs> I was wondering why I made so much time up there, and then I remembered that's where I had the death in, in that world record I just got. And second try launch base too, so I was doing that one as well. Oh, does it, Safira? Oh, okay. I mean, that's probably a good behavior for it to have, I just didn't know that that's what happened. Because it hadn't been that way in the past. So I was still too scared to do the um, the insta shields at this point. So that that's an interesting difference. So instead, I just got five hits and got the hell away. Uh, worse than you, the, the only problem with that is that you don't enter the true in-game time as the argument. Uh, you have to enter the in-game time that you finish the stage with. Which is not always the same. If there's been a death, it won't be the same. Uh, I don't think I would have done this. Huh. Interesting. Wonder if I was just bad at it. Let's see.
That's better. And we had the um, the position method for that level wrap to to make it safe. I don't like standing there <laughs> and doing those. Also, still no lightning shield. I knew about using the mushroom though. I think getting the water shield was a significant mistake. Yeah, I was just thinking, I'm gonna find that out about there. Also, you really want the insta shield to do the bounce off that enemy. So I think during that stage I may have been thinking, shit, I need to find somewhere to lose this shield. And just wasn't able to find one. This time that split too, but it's interesting actually. At this point, I'm still only 46 seconds behind. Oh no, sorry, 48. Ah, okay, this is where we start losing time though. Oh no, no, I forgot that. I forgot this method was a thing. And then using a similar position trick to Mushroom Hill, you get yourself in the right spot. Yeah, that, that trick was a pain in the ass, because you had to line up on exactly the right pixel of the... Um, the platform. The platform actually slightly oscillates up and down and I wanted to wait until I, it was on the top side of that oscillation to try and get the position right. So doing this one? Yes. Huh! That's interesting. <laughs> I don't remember that. I think I actually came out in the wrong spot, and how did I not get crushed there? That's ridiculous. I 
I don't know whether I got this laser skip or not. I just, I just know I was really bad at it at the time. <laughs> Hey, Starcratus. It's interesting, actually, uh, Joe Neutrino, because there are several ways to accidentally do it, uh, mostly in the other direction, which is useless. Okay, so obviously this is going to lose a ton of time to the record that I'm comparing against because Yeah, so if you go for it Actually, while I think about it. Can I just say that I'm so glad that's the first thing you posted as a mod of this channel? <laughs> Right, so Sandopolis 1 hasn't changed yet either. Um, that happens when we get to the run with Tails, which is next. Remember, did I take that hit in the 2006 run as well? I think I may have. Uh, was it 233? Sinopolis 2 is actually a stage I've made a habit of botching in good runs. Um, the start of this stage was quite bad. Uh, wonder, wonder what the rest of it looks like.
Okay, we're doing floor clip now. I didn't do the double jump. Strange. That was an interesting effort to try and get into that gap. Thankfully it didn't matter. Yep, glad I jumped there. That's why I do it actually. I throw that jump in just in case the platform's in that about to fall position. Hmm, got a point there, Kirby. Why sometimes you go straight under the spring like that if you spin dash towards it. I don't know if it's just the collision detection thing or what, but it's really silly. So now I start backing out after four hits. Wow, I somehow missed one. Three eleven. That's bad. <laughs> in in fairness, tell Nayor I don't intend to get um. No music boss. Uh, no, you just have to, um, you just have to get to the boss without the shield. Uh, there's no place in the stage where you would drop the shield and it would be faster. Oh, okay. So this run has the stair clip in it. Pretty slow stair clip though. What was that? Five attempts? That roll is actually super important. I... I lost the shield there! <laughs> that may have been the only time I've actually gone through that section too fast. Possibly saved me about half a second there, because you want to lose the shield later on. Uh, because... Using the insta shield there is much quicker in delivering hits. <laughs> Glad 2013 me remembered to do the spin dash there. I'd forgotten.
This all looks about the same though. That should be a two tap spin dash and then you'll land on top of the rock. You actually need to be on the well to the right hand side of that uh, lightning shield box to insta shield and grab that lightning shield. If you actually go in between the two boxes, uh, you'll only grab the 10 ring box if you insta shield. Ooh, first go both. 125, good time. I notice I didn't use my the visual cue I use now for that first jump. Also, oh no, oh no, oh no. Thirty-three. Wow, that was pretty bad. Only 10 hits that time. <laughs> Actually, that section um, with Tails, oh, with Sonic and Tails, is about a second slower because Knuckles jumps into the teleporter and then Sonic and then Tails and then the screen fades out. Again, I didn't know about the the vine here, so it's in the wrong spot. I did, however get that jump right. Also, if you don't insta-shield there, uh, you get stuck in the wall alongside the lightning shield. That's a terrible way to lose a run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that too. Thanks, Dasher Pepper, for the bits. I've said this several times, and competition in this category is pretty stiff, but I think it is among the best 2D platformers ever made. I tell now, because I can't see yours. I don't know why they don't come up. This happened last time as well. I don't know whether it's custom cheers don't come up in chatty or what, but... Also, that was a really... I, I don't know what happened there. Oh, 
possibly old chatty version. <laughs> oh, Safira, do you mean the original Sonic CD? Because, yeah, the, um, the Spin Dash in that is terrible. Okay, so I see all those messages, but only the normal bit shows up as a bit. Oh, that was bad luck. The first two um, spikes came out right underneath the eye. That's terrible, terrible luck. Yeah, that's true actually. Sonic CD Spin Dash is just use the PL out instead. Yeah, I think it just may not like custom cheers. It actually says there's an update available for it, so maybe I'll update it after the stream. So one of the neat things there is that you can, um, if the if you miss the first lightning shield that's in your path, you can just go down and get the second one. Uh, also, it was quite nice to um, have found that you can spin dash out to the right with those. <laughs> I tried to show off the... Um, I tried to show off the spikes that don't do damage there, but the corner of them still does do damage. So most most everything about like this is the same as the power run from here on out really. Uh, so Uh, what's my least favorite? I'd probably say Sonic 1, just because the, um, the tricks in Sonic 1 are very samey. Because, like, in, in this game, you, yeah, you skip a ton of stages. But you do it in really interesting ways, like, how you skip Marble Garden is very different to how you skip Carnival Night, is very different to how you skip Ice Cap, is very different to how you skip Flying Battery. It's all... You're, you're doing different things all the time. In... In Sonic 1, pretty much every trick boils down to... Find a wall you can get stuck in, hold right. And then make sure you release right at the correct time. Yeah, it's hard for me to explain what I don't really know. Sometimes when you're coming into this, uh, this final section of Death Egg 2, um, as you're running alongside Robotnik, the screen will shift a bit out to the right. And when that happens, the 
where the blocks actually are and where they appear to be are actually offset from each other. So if you spin dash all the way to the end, there's actually a gap there and you'll fall and die. I don't know why that happens. I think it's to do with the way that you spin dash into the, into the next room. I think if you do a spin dash from too close to the loading trigger, then bad things will happen. Which is why I always do a spin dash from back where the... Uh, from back where the tube is. Alright, so that's two runs down. Uh, so, a little bit of context. That run stood for a little while, and then a couple more things were found. So there was the there was the Carnival Night Two path. There was the uh, let me think. What else was there? Oh, there was Flying Battery 1. That was found just before HDQ 2015, so I remember HDL showing it off there, and it was quite new at the time. Um, So that made Flying Battery one more consistent, because the way I did it in this run is a real pain in the ass. Um, and then I think other things I just got better at. Uh, so this run eventually went down to 30.53 and that was the fastest time with with Sonic alone for a couple of years until I beat it actually in the trilogy run just last week. Um, but then in 2016 TNT came out with some new videos um, in as a 25th anniversary celebration where he showed off um, several tr uh, several tricks that could improve the run, but only if you added Tails as a partner. Um, so, the first one was uh, there's a level wrap in Sandopolis 1 that you can do uh, that involves Tails pushing the block off, off the edge and having Sonic stand in the wall, very similar to how Metropolis 3 works, actually. Uh, the second one was being able to complete the Marble Garden uh, Act 2 in Act 1 boss fight with Tails as a partner, but without any additional input. And the third one was Death Egg 2. And that, uh, you use the fact that you force the camera off screen to have Tails hit a platform off screen and push it down into position for you. And then you can do it the same way as you would in a co-op run. So, then the meta became to do the run with Sonic and Tails. Uh, Eventually, I got a run of that that was pretty competent, and that is what you're about to see now. Uh, Safira, that would have been after. I think. Uh, okay, so I need to change this. Okay, so this was the best run that I mustered 
up to, well, earlier tonight. Uh, this run was the world record up until about three hours ago. And I had intended for it to actually be the world record when I showed it off, but no such luck. <laughs> Uh, to answer some questions, uh, Tack, uh, since we've changed the timing over and now real-time minus time bonus is the uh, preferred timing method, um, you time both the runs that way and HDL's time actually is faster, so his time is considered to be the record again. Oh, yes, actually, it was. So it definitely was from last year. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Sephira, they're the same category, as long as you don't actually use Tails' input. Then the category is the same. Well, um, as far as I know, Tack, there's none awaiting verification, so uh, it's as up to date as the people that have submitted to it want it to be. Like, I know, for example, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of different runs that people have done in like trilogy races and whatever that they just haven't submitted for whatever reason just one of those unfortunate things um, again the first three stages here are going to be basically identical Oh, except that I got that jump. Nice. So there's a tiny little bit of space where that ramp curves up, and normally it just launches you off it, but there's a tiny little bit there where you can actually get a jump out. And if you get a jump at a high enough angle, you can actually get all the way up to that platform and skip the springs on the right-hand side. Yeah, sorry, my bad about that. <laughs> One twenty seven, I can get that in this run. Yeah, for whatever reason, this is a category that not too many other people have taken seriously over the years. It's a bit of a shame, but I can understand that due to the difficulty of a lot of the tricks, and it being a real gauntlet of tricks at this point. So even someone like Tenebrae, who I think is in second place, um, he's only doing the tricks he's consistent at and the other ones is just eating the time loss of not doing them. Uh, so, the first column is RTA minus time bonus, and the way that that's calculated is you just time the run in real time, 
but then any frame that the time bonus is counting down, you just ignore. So in this case, so I've got 59 seconds there, and that gives a 50,000 time bonus. Um, if I had waited a second and completed the stage at one minute, it would have only given me a 10,000 time bonus. So it's unfair, in my view, to say that you should slow yourself down in the stage in order to speed yourself up through the time bonus. Since that isn't really gameplay as such. Ooh, the, yeah, that's two misses there. Probably would have reset after one more. So it's a good job that one worked. It's surprisingly close in Sonic 2 though, like the Sonic record is 3 seconds faster than the Knuckles one. And yeah, Sonic Advance 2 kind of blows that out of the water as well. So this section with Tails as partner is ideally exactly the same, but in, in practice it's slightly different because you have to force Tails not to land there. Because otherwise he'll be in exactly the same spot as you through here. That what's important is that he isn't uh, he doesn't land here before the screen shifts out to the left. Basically, at the moment, he's now one, he's kind of one space behind you. So, so when I get this hit, I'm going to dash out, to, I'm going to get hit and then force Tails to get pushed out. And you see him drop just as um, Sonic's getting that last hit. And then even though looking at tails, you'd think, oh, I need to be holding left there. You actually need to hold right. And then jump just as the capsule gets close. Hey, ordinary bricks. Also, yeah, I've just realized, just to confuse the issue even more, I've actually, where it says currently playing, I've actually got the in-game time, because that's how they were timed at the time. So I have three different timing methods on the screen. Now again, as I explain, oh, actually, I don't think I was doing this yet at the, t at the time, but, um, what I do during that fight 
is um, anytime Tails is at the bottom and can potentially jump and ruin the pattern of the fight, I'm, I'm actually holding down because then instead of jumping he'll just spin dash instead. That's a, that's an error. This is why I play this safe now. I don't go for that early cycle. That's a pretty accurate description of how I'm feeling too. So, the original draft of this method was actually not to do what I did there. That was actually... That was me altering what was what was presented there. TNT had a different method where he would... Um, he jumped onto a corner earlier on off the balloons. And then ran off the corner in a certain way so that he detached from the platform he was standing on. I found that to be really risky and really time consuming. So I was like, how else can I get up to that 10 ring box at the top right? And amazingly, it actually worked. <laughs> Kind of disappointed I didn't decide to do this first. Because can you imagine how much cooler it would have been if I had done all of the the world record progression and then just casually first go got a new record? This angle is a bit strange. Got away with it though. Kinda have to a time of this caliber though. <laughs> if you miss that level wrap, you lose somewhere in the region of two minutes. Notice that approach is actually a little bit different. We're actually timing that hit there now. So the boss strats have advanced a little bit. was a strange pattern. Again, I don't really like Tails getting hits here because I'm not prepared for them. And if I go and make an attack 
and Tails has already got the hit, then I become vulnerable to the next attack from the other one. Uh, what was it? 48. That was a late split, and you can see still a massive goal, because... Um, yeah, I didn't die that time. And a second try of launch base too. This one will actually be slightly faster because the death was faster on this one. Uh, Sephira, that's just because there's more RTA data. Literally anything that beats that current run is going to be a goal on RTA minus time bonus. And so now, now this boss strat's changed too. Now we can stand in the right spot and do insta shields for days. <laughs> that that boss actually there was some really painful experimentation um while I was doing that because initially you think well the the boss has got to move down to the bottom to trigger the end of the stage so you know you want to just keep attacking it as quickly as possible. Problem is if you do that by about hit 7 the um, the spike ball has actually come around to the left hand side and it can, it can hit you. And of course you've got no rings. Uh, 29, whoops. <laughs> That's gonna make Mushroom Hill want a fake gold too, so... I won't bother saving these. I'll probably still play against these splits another day. I don't know about... I don't know about that being tomorrow, but... <laughs> thanks a lot, Tails. He, he got what he deserved for that. I could, but that would take effort. Yeah, see, that Mushroom Hill one was not 20 seconds faster. Especially with all the, the fucking around with the signpost at the end there. That was time I actually saved in launch base. So getting the lightning shield allows you to jump straight up there with the mushroom. Whoa! Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay, you weren't really missing anything. In that case, I'd probably prefer that you asked about the link before giving it. Oh, I nailed the fire shield though, that's cool. Hmm. 
Most most of the time, I'm pretty cool with links. Uh, in this case, it's just because it's not really related whatsoever, even to the conversation that was being had at the time. So I think this is the point in the run that I just did earlier, that I was feeling pretty relaxed because I was so far behind. Um, yeah, so this is this is something TNT discovered in I think late 2014 uh, that you can store a spin dash by getting up right close to the zip line at the bottom, um, ducking all the way down, and then doing a spin dash and immediately releasing it. Uh, get up to the little room at the end of Mushroom Hill 2. Uh, you just have to, if you're using the pulley, you just have to grab the left one instead of the right one. Uh, and therefore with Tails and Knuckles, you can just fly or climb up the left side and it'll have the same effect. Thanks a lot, Tails. Uh, this stage is exactly the same. Uh, aside from the boss fight, the boss fight is ever so slightly different. And only in the sense that there's, you know, one extra thing to think about, which is the fact that Tails is there. Ideally, if it were possible, I would like to do something here where you actually just ignore, like, like you can make Tails not spawn there or something. That would be the ideal. Also, this trick is hard. Ah, uh, you're about to see the two major ways in which Tails benefits you in this run. Believe me, if he didn't, I wouldn't be using him. So the main thing to watch out for here is that if either character is in between the arms when he settles at the bottom, he's going to shoot the fire. So most often you can't get both characters out of there. And it costs a couple of seconds, and it's a bit of a pain. Okay, so here's the first one. So... You have to push that block right to the edge and then have Tails push it the final bit of the way. Then you're embedded slightly inside the wall, so you push right to zip out to the left and then jump off the slope so that you clear the, the rock and then just hope you go through. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of consistency as to whether you do go through or not.
Yeah, unfortunately, there aren't a lot of speedruns for this game. It's... Oh wow, I stuffed this up. <laughs> so, because... Uh, uh, shit. No, no, that's right. Um, because this used to be timed in-game time, it was actually worth your while to uh, waste a bit of time there to get that platform in the right position. But I botched it completely and it ended up being in the worst possible position, so I've lost a, a whole cycle right off the bat here. Uh, this is also before one of the more significant recent... Oh, no, sorry, this isn't before that. But yeah, the, um, the 33.52 that you saw, and even the 30.53, uh, didn't have the stair clip in this stage. Uh, which is coming up now. There it is there. So you can get two attempts at it in a cycle if you're quick about it, about getting back to that position. Now I have to remember that you're actually faster to go right there now. But otherwise, the stage is largely the same. As you can see, I have no shield at the moment. So... Guess what? No music boss fight. Hey, canary bird. That was a surprising hit. Um, oh yeah, so that's a thing that can happen. Um, I don't know why, but if you come through there at a certain speed... You can uh, sometimes get pushed into the floor and skip a whole section there. Or oh, also first try stair clip. Ah, uh, the reason you need to not have a shield for the Xenopolis 2 boss fight is that when you use the Insta Shield, you're hitting both the barrier and the boss behind it at the same time. Uh, and then you get pushed right into the boss and you get four hits for free. If you don't do that, then you'd only get two at maybe three. I don't know what happened there. I must have miscounted. Oh, I remember what happened in this run. I really needed to pee at this point. And I was trying to think, you know, can I just... Can I just go really quickly here? And what happened is I put my controller down and ran off. And as I ran off, the controller actually fell off the table and landed on pause. Like, what are the odds? Ah, 
Uh, it's meant to be Safira. That counts against my time now, that pause. Where it wouldn't have at the time, which was one of the big catalysts for the change in the end. So again, Lava Reef 2, the, the actual stage where there's no glitches is a lot of the same. Uh, if I hadn't done a spin dash very quickly there, I would have died. Ooh, jeez, I nearly, <laughs> nearly dropped the lightning shield there. And the first try on that stair clip, too. The actually getting out of there is kind of hard, though. And so there you see I jump from that pillar. Oh, I forgot about that! I forgot about doing the Hidden Palace quick kill. Damn, I have to work that back into the route now. Um, okay, so... So, Knuckles, like a lot of bosses, takes 8 hits to kill. But his invulnerability works differently to every other boss in the game. In that it resets when he hits the ground after he does that... Um, after he does that animation of getting thrown back. So what you want to do is you want to... Um, you want to force Tails to lodge into his sprite, and that stops him from rebounding when he gets hit. So instead of doing the big fancy throw back, he just um, he just stays in place. And then, uh, so what happens when you jump on him then is that you kind of make contact with him for a few frames, and you're hitting him every single frame. So, in the end, you only have to bounce on him twice to get all the 8 hits you need. So as you can see, still ahead. But at this point, uh, when I did the run just before, I remembered that I actually died in Death Egg 2 in this run, and that's the reason I was able to still be in contention for the record and then get it. I don't know if you noticed there, but um, I actually did 
Uh, I was intending to do a lightning jump there. I actually did it ever so slightly too early. And you would have heard the lightning, uh, the insta shield sound come out just as the. Um, just as I was trying to do the jump. But also just as the lightning shield sound was playing for having picked it up. So that's why that sounded a bit strange. Every single one of the runs did that jump differently. And then when I did it today, I did it differently again. But not too much has changed there. I don't know how I made those dodges. Those dodges between hit 5 and 6 were absolutely sickening. So like in Hydrosity 2, you have to reset the level boundaries with a death here. Uh, having a lightning shield is also imperative for this trick. Ah, I forgot you can do that too. So that's what you that's how you force tails to land there. Oh, that was only a frame late, too. That sucks. That's the quickest way to die there. You kind of have Sonic stand up in a space he can't stand up in, it counts as a crush death. Get this lightning shield instead this time. Uh, soon as I had a guess, I would say August, September. There we go, that's it. And then this part's the same. I wonder if I was, um, I wonder if I was still flirting with trying to, uh, get hit here. But also have tails. No, I don't think so. I was, I was trying to do a strategy where I got hit there and had tails get the last hit on the boss for me. Um, the idea being that it would let me have the insta shield for this fight, which would make the one round on the laser much easier. But yeah, anyway, having two characters changes this slightly. Uh, you don't want to move as fast in this phase. I got a three round fingers there, that's very good.
And I got seven hits there. So that stage was actually faster than. Um, that was actually faster than the one I got just now. And that's that one done.